Welcome to Marielle's Kitchen. Today, I will make ube cheese de sal. In this recipe, we need 4 cups of all-purpose flour, but you can also use bread flour. Make sure to sift the flour to remove any lumps and also removes any unwanted things like bugs. We don't want that, right? Next, we need 1 fourth cup of white sugar. We also need 2 and 1 fourth teaspoons of instant dry yeast. Add one half teaspoon of salt. Be sure to mix all the dry ingredients together. Add two medium sized eggs. Followed by 3 4 cups of warm whole milk. Then 1 half cup of softened butter. Course, our main star for this recipe is 1 third cup of ube jam. For additional flavor, I also use 2 tablespoons of ube flavoring. Combine everything, the wet and the dry ingredients together. And now, the most exciting part of baking is kneading the dough. Knead the dough for about 10 minutes or until it becomes elastic and smooth. After 10 minutes of kneading, form the dough into a ball shape and do the window pane test. Lightly coat a bowl with oil and roll the dough around in it. Cover the dough using a clean cloth or a foil and let it rest for one hour. After an hour, Ta-da! The dough has doubled in size. Punch out the gas. After that, form the dough into a ball shape once again and divide the dough into two. Cut the dough into smaller pieces and shape them into balls. I made 40 ube cheese de sal from this recipe. Time to put the filling, the ube jam or halaya and the cheddar cheese. Form them into a ball shape and roll them into the bread crumbs. Let them rest again for another 1 hour. Don't forget to preheat your oven. Bake the ube cheese dissolve in 180 degrees Celsius for about 15 to 18 minutes. After 15 minutes, our ube cheese from the sauce. Very delicious. 